Hi everyone, my name is Fi, and today I will be demonstrating natural frequency and harmonics using a guitar. So as you can see here, I have a simple acoustic guitar and it has steel strings. The measurements for the string length work by measuring from the front part of the nut here all the way to the center of the 12th fret. and then doubling that measurement. This is known as the scale length of the guitar. The diameters or gauge of the guitar strings vary from larger to smaller as you go down the guitar. So up here, the largest diameter, and then as you go down, the diameter gets smaller and smaller to the bottom string. These measurements will affect the natural frequency of the string. Some of you might be wondering, what is natural frequency? Well, when an object is struck or plucked, it will vibrate. That vibration will be at a certain frequency and each object will have different frequencies at which they vibrate when struck. And these frequencies are known as the natural frequencies. The natural frequencies of these guitar strings are actually within the human frequency range of hearing. So when these strings are plucked, you will be able to hear them. Now let's move on to harmonics. What are harmonics? Well, since there are many guitar strings and it's long enough so that you can place your fingers on different lengths of the strings, these will have many different frequencies. And these many different natural frequencies are known as harmonics of the guitar. Here is a nice figure showing the first few harmonics of guitar strings. Now what happens when you play the guitar is usually your fingers will be placed somewhere along these strings and if I just play this top string here, you can hear the pitch it makes. Now if I were to place my finger here, you notice that the pitch is different, it's a little higher. Now referring back to the figure, you'll see points uh, where the where the wave is not is not moving and these points are called nodes and so essentially when you place a finger down on the string this point where you place your finger the string will not vibrate but the rest of it will so essentially you're creating a node with your finger and if you change the if you change the length of the string and where it's vibrating you will change the wavelength and if you change the wavelength you'll change the frequency and if you change the frequency, you'll change the pitch. And that is why you can have different notes on string.